Jesus! We got a new mega thing Take a good long look at this crap I'm in. What? I left the World Wrestling Federation for gimmicks like this. All of you don't know I was gold dust, and gold dust sucked. Gold dust nearly ruined my wrestling career. You see, I wanted to come back to WCW because this is home for me, and I wanted to be just me, just me, because that's what I can do, just be me. But the powers that be came to me and they said, Dustin, you know, Dustin sucks. Dustin is boring. So I here now, I stand before you, and oh, my new name is Seven, by the way, so. They've dressed me up like Uncle Fester to play trick or treat all year long. Uh -huh. Powers it free. What you can do is take gold dust and shut. You can take this silly looking thing seven and shove it up your ass. And you both can kiss. Now last week, my father called me Dusty Rhodes. And it seems that he's no longer with this company. After 25 years of building everything that you see right here and right now, they kicked him to the curb like he was a piece of sh Well, powers that be, that doesn't cut the mustard, and now you got to deal with me because you disrespected my father, you disrespected the Rhodes name, and you disrespected me for the last damn time. You understand? So from this moment on tonight and to the end of your lives, I am going to make your life a miserable hell. I'm going to make WCW a miserable hell and TNT too. So boys, I know you're back there staring. Your little fat faces in the monitor looking at me. You know one thing. Tonight and forevermore, you will never, ever forget the name of Dustin Rhodes. We talked about that match happening twice tonight. We said Eddie against Conan twice tonight. And now he's not dressed to wrestle. Not, yeah, that's right. Unscheduled interview. Hey, production, don't even think about going to a commercial. If not, I might go say my piece at some other show. Yeah, that's right, Eric. Do I got your attention now, Eric Bischoff? I can't get it in the back. Huh? I try and go in there and talk to you about business and I get screamed at and kicked out. Well, if this is what I gotta do to get your attention, Eric Bischoff, then this is what I'm gonna do. Fire me, do whatever it takes. I could give a you-know-what, Eric. Eric Bischoff, time in and time out. For one whole year, I have been coming here to work just to be mistreated by you and very much unappreciated, Eric. On the road, on TV, I give you my 100%. I give all these people my 100%, whether they like me or whether they don't. 
I give you the best show there is, and you know it. And you cannot give me the time of day in the back to listen to what I have to say to you, Eric, where I could give a damn. Because you know what? I don't care anymore, Eric Bischoff. You got a lot of young talent here in WCW, and all you do is hold us down for people that you pay a lot of money to and that you have way up here. Well, I don't care, Bischoff, anymore. I don't care about these people. I don't care about nothing anymore, Eric. You have driven me to that. Eric Bischoff, this has nothing to do with you people. This is personal between me and you, Eric. I come to work with my heart, and all you do is step on it. And I'm tired of it. You hold me down, you've held me down. And from now on in, Eric, see, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's something personal you got against me. Whatever it is, Eric, I don't know. I mean, what is it about me that you have against me that you keep me from stepping up the ladder in this profession? What is it about me? I mean, you got me tied down, Eric, in my contract and I could give. I'm telling you this right now, okay? And I'm saying this for any other guy that wants to come out here and speak his mind that's being held down. If you got the, you know what, come out here and say it like I am. Eric Bischoff, I'm telling you this face to face, boy, because I can't you get your attention. Other the way, not face to face, let me say, on national TV, in front of all these people, I'm coming out. And the only reason I haven't come out any sooner is for two reasons. Chavo Jr., I love you, man. You're my blood and I'll never let that go. You're one of the reasons I haven't said anything about what I'm doing tonight. And the other reason is because I have two kids and a wife that I have to support. Well, you know what? If losing my dignity means having to put up with WCW, NWO Red, Black or White, whatever the hell it is, I don't care. So Eric Bischoff, I'm telling you this right now. I want out of my contract no matter what it takes, who I gotta speak to, or what it is, okay? And here, let me save you some time, Eric Bischoff. I'm throwing coffee on myself. As far as I'm concerned, Eric Bischoff, you can take this job and shove it up your you-know-what. Don't look at me. I, I, obviously, we're not gonna have a match. He's got his bag. And we have never witnessed anything such as that in the history of this program. That is the... Well, here's Mr. Russo now. Thank the hell is next? Now I mean, what? I don't know. It, Who's laying down in this one? I, it's scheduled to be Nash Goldberg. We heard from Goldberg. Now maybe, maybe Russo can explain to the world what we have seen and if he explains it will we get it will it we understand it do we believe it look who it's coming from i, I think we're going to hear the truth right now i really do we got to hear something that's uh not vince russo the character that's vince russo the boss three weeks tonight. ago i left wcw and quite frankly i didn't know if i was going to come back And the reason I didn't know I was going to come back or not is because from day one that I've been in WCW, I've done nothing, nothing but deal with the bullshit of the politics behind that curtain. The fact of the matter is, I've got a wife, I've got three kids at home, and I really don't need this shit. But let me tell you the reason why I did come back. I came back for every one of the guys in that locker room 
that week in, week out, bust their ass for WCW. I came back for the Booker T. I came back for every single guy in MIA. I came back for the animals. I came back for Jared. I came back to the guys behind that curtain that give a shit about this company. And let me tell you who doesn't give a shit about this company. That goddamn politician Hulk Hogan. Because let me tell you people what happened out here in this ring tonight. All day long I'm playing politics with Hulk Hogan because Hulk Hogan tonight wants to play his creative control card. To Hulk Hogan, that meant that tonight in the middle of this ring, when he knew it was bullshit, he beats Jeff Jarrett. Well, guess what? Hogan got his wish. Hogan got his belt and he went the hell home. And I promise everybody or else I'll go in the goddamn grave. You will never see that piece of shit again. But I also, I sat out there with the people just like you, and I know you paid good money to come here tonight, and nobody is going to be ripped off here tonight. So Hulk Hogan now has the WCW belt, and Hulk, let's refer to that as the Hulk Hogan Memorial Belt, because from here on in, that belt don't mean shit! Because there will be a new WCW belt, and as far as I'm concerned, that belt still belongs to the one guy that busts his ass week in and week out in the middle of this ring. And you people can love him and hate him, but he doesn't screw anybody back there, and that's Jeff Jarrett. Now hold on a minute. Jeff Jarrett is still the official WCW champion, but he will defend that title in this ring tonight. And he will defend that title against the son of a bitch back there who for 14 years has been busting his ass in WCW and can't get a goddamn break because of the Hulk Hogan. And I'm talking about Booker T. Jeff Jarrett are the two reasons why I'm in this damn stinking business to begin with. So tonight in this ring, for the WCW title, two deserving guys, Jarrett and Booker, will compete for the WCW and they'll tear this goddamn out now. And Hogan, you big bald son of a bitch, kiss my ass! Crazy things, Steve Regal, including putting your ass over on TV. 
Hang on, Tony. Let's stay All with right. the Cruiserweight Tag Team right. matchup here. Yeah, let's do it. 